Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Guns Locked. I'm Gun Through Great, and today I seen this thing on YouTube. Someone told me to steer clear of it and don't check it out, but I ended up checking out because that's what you do. You gotta get news and you gotta get updates. So today I was looking at this video. It is not Locks, which is a pal of mine. Pal, does anybody even use pal anymore? But he did a video on Ski Mask and his dreadlocks that they are fake. So let's see a little bit of what he thinks, and then I'm gonna add my input, see if they are fake, and figure out if they are, and give you evidence if they are fake or not. So this is another episode of Fake Dreadlocks. Ski Mask, the Slump God X affiliate, Lil Pump affiliate, Affiliate, looking at his dreads in this picture from the high top dreads, they were pretty small and scraggly in this picture. They've come a long way at this point with the help of a loctician and a little bit of time. For those wondering where his locks came from, they are in fact lock extensions, which I found in this Snapchat video here, where you can see him at the salon underneath the retwist machine with this dude who was the loctician, hashtagging it lock extensions from no labels, just different from afro to locks in just eight hours. So. He initially went to the dreadlock extensions for this back in July to end up where he started his dreadlock journey. Oh, that's enough. That's enough evidence right there. So you can see right there, he went to a loctician, which a loctician is a person who does dreadlocks, which they make dreadlocks, whatever. They add lock extensions to your dreadlocks. They do a whole bunch of stuff. And it shows in the video, which he was on Snapchat, I believe. And he was at a loctician. The person even posted it on their Instagram and tagged Ski Mask and said that he went from an afro to dreadlocks in only eight hours. And then there was a hashtag lock extension. Oh yeah, hashtag lock extensions in New York City. Taper cut, all these hashtags that kind of just gave it away on his dreadlocks. If I were to watch the rest of the video and there was something else that came up that maybe showed that he didn't have fake dreadlocks, then that would kind of just bring me back to saying, no, he doesn't have fake dreadlocks. But from the evidence that Notlock showed, we can all say that he does have a pair of fake dreadlocks. And that's getting popular. A lot of people don't care or have the patience to actually get real dreadlocks or have their own set of locks. You see people like Smoke Perp or I know Young Thug, he cut his dreadlocks and then he reattached them. And then of course you have Fetty Wap, which his dreadlocks were fake from the get go. But let's take a look at more photos of Ski Mask and see if we can tell from just the photos. Okay, so here's the first photo. It honestly just looks like his hair is twisted. It looks like he would just had really good crochet hook work done to his dreads. They are butted up at the ends very well, but they are actually butted at the end. And, and that can be evidence of fake dreadlocks because usually the tip of the dreadlock if you grow them and you actually let them mature themselves, the tip of the dreadlock should be skinnier than the majority of the length of the dread. Moving on to another photo, same thing. They're looking like baseball bats and baseball bats are wider at the end than they are at the handle. That's kind of how they're looking. And typically, if your hair is matured, which his hair in that last picture I showed you is very mature. And like I said, that's from crochet hooking, I believe. And usually if your hair looks like a baseball bat or it's like that, it's usually because you have starter locks, but his hair is long. I believe he said his hair was six inches and that's long to have dreadlocks. And usually if your hair is mature at six inches, you shouldn't have beginner locks. What do you guys think? Comment down below. This is the third episode I have done of someone with fake dreadlocks and I've been wrong before, so you let me know. Sound good? Cool. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.